Dar uma senha Que se maceia Yeah, yeah Oh, yeah Oh, yeah Que se Que se Sangue every praise Every praise to our Oh, yeah Every praise Every praise Is to our God Smile and say amen Smile and say amen again You know, I wish the church Could stand here and look out there when we're singing. You see, it's so good to see the young folk singing. I'm talking about children and babies uh, uh, excited about the song service. Do you know, uh, and I don't mean, no, uh, well, oh. Uh, if we were singing, bringing in the sheaves, and them children don't know nothing about, they don't know nothing about let your, let your light burn low. Uh, but they do know God our Savior and God our Deliver. When we sing songs with the enthusiasm that we are singing to a God who will make a way out of nowhere. Our kids are being taught. Our kids are being... You ought to stand up here sometime and, and look out there and to see the way these children are singing and excited about the song service for God. Beloved... I want to tell you, because I love us to be uh, educated on things. You know, when he sung that song during the communion, uh, when we fall down on our knees. Well, in Bible times, the Jews just did not pray unless they, fall, unless they would fall down on their knees. And then he says, with thy face to the rising sun. They would pray three times a day. They would pray where the sun would rise. Because they were thanking God for allowing the sun, which I had prayed for. They were thanking God for allowing the sun to come up. They realized that the sun didn't come up in everybody's life. But they were thanking God that it came up in their life. And then it made no difference what they were doing, Brooke Collins. Around 12 o'clock, they would fall back down on their knees. And they would lift their hands up to God and, and, and they would pray with their hands representing the manner that God had rained down from heaven. So we see them praying when the sun came up. We see them praying when the sun was at the 12. But then we see they didn't have a clock. Like we, they had what was called the sundial. And, and they would take, they would do the time based on the sundial. Don't look like that because you're going to make me change my lesson. You remember when Hezekiah, when Isaiah told Hezekiah that God had heard his prayer and he was going to give him 15 more years and, 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 and Hezekiah wanted a, 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 a sign. And, 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 and he said, okay, go back and tell Hezekiah, I changed the sundial. And instead of going this way, I'll make it go another way. Because that's how they told time with the sundial. So at 12 o'clock, they would fall down on their knees and they would thank God. And then again, at 3 o'clock, it was mandatory for the Jewish brethren and sisters to pray three times a day. Yes. Beloved, we got a better covenant built on better promises. And we can hear uh, the, the doctor by the name of Luke who says in chapter 18, men ought to always pray. There ought not be a time in your life that you're meek in your prayer life. There ought not be a time when you, when, when you cut back. On, you cut back on your portions of food. You cut back on working uh, all day and all night. You cut back on this and that. But don't you ever cut back on prayer. Because it is your communication to God. It allows you to talk to the one who made you. It allowed you to communicate to the one who created you. It allowed you to talk to one who has all power in both heaven and in earth. I don't want to apologize to anybody about our worship. Well, we don't apologize. This is how we worship. This is, this is, this is, we believe that, that God, you don't put a thermostat in. See, I don't know what God has done for you this week. 
I, I didn't go to the doctor with you. I don't know what he said. I don't know if he healed, bought your ailing child back home. I don't know if he helped you cross you over some bridge. I don't know what he's done for you. So when you get excited about singing and praising God, we don't try to turn you down. You just praise God. Well, somebody said, Bert Glenn, it don't take all of that. You don't know what it takes for me. You don't know what it takes for me. I'm an excited person. And if I could get excited about down-home blues, if I can get excited about Mays, look at California. Come on, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Certainly I can get excited about every praise is to my God. And every word of worship of one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. 